Hi, I just want to do a uh, quick video on AMD's Power Tune. Basically, what I'm going to show you is how to set a core clock and a memory clock so it's completely stable. Um, basically, what you need first of all is to uh, get um, GPU Z, uh, open that up, and also get Furmark and also run that at the same time as you're running GPU Z. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to run Furmark for at least 15 or 20 minutes until the actual graphics card and the um, core of the graphics card has heated up and reached its thermal limits. Now basically how this all works is you've got user-defined thermal limits that are set within that AMD Catalyst Control Center and what that does is that ramps up your core clock and your memory clock um, and basically all throttles it up and down to a point um, where you've basically set that in your Catalyst Control Center. Now just bear with me, I may mumble and stutter a bit here, but what I'm trying to do is this is not the easiest thing to explain, so I'm just going to try my best and explain it to you. Basically what you want to do first of all is set your maximum fan speed. Now this is a water-cooled R9290X, so the fan speed is not applicable to me, but it will be to you. So first of all, set your fan speed to a basically noise level that you're comfortable with and then basically set your GPU temperature target. Now, if you're using an air-cooled card, um, they say that 95 degrees is no problem. I've got mine set at 65 degrees. It's basically a limit so the card doesn't overclock itself too much. Basically, once you've got these two set, what you want to do is you want to run your card for another 5-10 minutes um, while running um, Furmark. So basically what you want to do is find out where a stable temperature is for your card running at the set um, GPU temperature and the set fan speed that you have. Once you've found that, now you can try and start overclocking. Now how do you go about overclocking and getting a set um, core clock and memory clock. Well, it's actually pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to go up to your um, power limit settings. Now, what I do is I take my power limit settings up quite high to start off with. Say go go up to say 25%. Now, once you've once you're at 25%, then you can start bringing up your actual memory clock settings and your GPU clock settings. While you're doing this, you'll want to watch your actual GPU temperature. If your GPU temperature reaches its thermal set limit, which may be 95 degrees, mine's 65 degrees here as you can see, but if it reaches the 95 degrees, what it's going to do is it's going to throttle the card back. So what you need to do is to find a sweet medium in between for your GPU settings and your memory clock settings. I'll show you how all this works. Basically up here you can see that I've got the power limit setting here and it's set at 23%. Basically what I've got is a core clock of 1060 MHz and a memory clock of 1280 MHz. Now this is set and it's stable. So how do I go about finding this and how do I go about setting it at a core clock that I'd be happy with? Obviously if you've got an air-cooled card and you want to run um, a core clock of 1060 megahertz, you're going to have to have a pretty high fan speed. And like I said before, most people don't want a um, really high fan speed as because of the noise. So you may have your fan speed set at 40%. Now what I'm getting at here is, basically if I go and change the power limit settings here now, what it will do is for the set parameters that I've put into it, for the memory clock and the GPU temperature, it has now gone and basically gone to its power limit. So it's basically a power limit throttling of the card. And what's that done is it's brought the um, core clock back. So what you want to do, like I said to start off with, is keep your actual um, power limit high and then bring your memory clock and GPU clock settings up applicably, if that makes sense. Now that I've increased my power limit again, you can see here that the core clock's gone back up to 1060 megahertz. Now if I change the GPU um, clock settings, obviously it decreases and increases the GPU clock settings, which is pretty simple. 
And if I increase or decrease the memory clock settings, it increases and decreases the memory clock settings. So this is the easiest way to try and find user to find set limits and to set your core clock and memory clock. I know this is not really the best way to describe something, but hopefully it gives you a bit of an insight into how to go about doing this. Like I said, the two major things you're going to need is GPU-Z and Furmark, and just make sure you keep an eye on the core clock, your memory clock, and your temperatures, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.